Hi there, another quick tip from intoedu.com. So today we're looking at art from shapes, patterns, using rotation. It's a concept similar to using turtle logo graphics. And our world is to create patterns using shapes, rotation, and movement. And we're going to create an algorithm that uses a square for, uh, that uses square for a pattern, is what this one here does. So we're just going to put that one back together in a second, and we're going to set a state for the direction of a pen. Uh, so first up, we're um, going to have a wee look at how the square has been done, and then we're going to create a pentagon from scratch. We're going to create one of these uh, make block sections. So there's various categories here, and we're in the make block section. Um, when you want to delete something, uh, you just highlight the definition over here, and it disappears off here under the make a block area. So I'll just go through this one a little bit first. Um, I have chosen the rocket because the rocket's quite useful for pointing in a certain direction so it helps you know exactly where you are on the screen. Um, just remember that whenever you have a costume, some may be pointing upwards in terms of um, how they start their costumes. I've created an extra um, little one here. Um, others may automatically be be sideways like a dog or something other like that as it walks along it'll be pointing sideways so the direction that it starts and may be a bit different um, I'm wanting my rocket to start in the direction pointing upwards uh, so what we can do is use um, a point in the direction scenario so uh, what I'm going to do is first of all show you how to create one of these so that when I put um, this back together so we go in here, um, we click on make a block, and we type in the word. I haven't got a pentagon one, so I'm going to put a pentagon one in that I'll use again later on. The various options here, which we're not explaining today, but we'll just say OK. As soon as you do that, over here under make a block appears pentagon, and the definition of it appears over here. The definition is, what is the piece of programming that's going to go together to make up this block called pentagon, or square, so that you can use that somewhere in a program. So right now, you know, this pentagon block is not on here. Uh, it's obviously not going to do anything if I just park it there. Um, if I want to throw it away, I can throw it away. So I'm just going to go through how we did the square. Um, first of all, we want to get the point in the direction right for the shape, so we actually understand which is the direction for this one. This can be a bit misleading in here because it does depend on which way the sprite was drawn in the first place. So um, let's just experiment and find out. So I've made a wee program here, go to the center of the screen, set the size of the rocket to zero, clear any graphics that are on the screen. So here's the, the clear area here underneath the pen, and we're going to be using that a lot today. Um, we set the pen color to a particular color by clicking on the color and then choosing it. And then we used our definition called square. Now over here, the definition square just right now, just as we're just trying to work out the points. So and when the green flag is clicked, it should systematically go through this part of the algorithm, then leap over to the defined block called square. And simply right now, all it's going to do is point in the direction of minus 90. So let's press the green flag and see what happens. OK, so minus 90 for this must be obviously pointing down. What's the opposite of minus 90? Press the green flag, and we've got it now working. So the program skipped through here, did the square, did this. So next part of the thing we're going to do is um, get the pen working. So we're going to put in from here the pen down piece of program. Um, you've probably worked with repeats before. Um, and so we've got a nested repeat uh, in, in here. So we've got one repeat here with another repeat there. So stop the video and assemble this. Remember, look at the colors. These repeats here obviously come from the control category, which is the orange color, the blue ones from the motion category, and so on. I'll just take this little bit out right now. And we'll just have a wee look at what this part does. Okay, so I've asked it to repeat twice. And here, this, this repeat here is the part that creates the square. Ready, eh? So if I only say repeat once in here, it's just going to move forward once, 
70 steps and turn 90 degrees. So let's press play, zip through. Oh, I asked it to repeat twice here. I'll just make that once as well. Let's redo that again. Okay, so there we go. So we're drawing one side of the square. So to, to make this work, our, our, our plane is drawn, turn 90 degrees. If we do this four times, and I'll show you why we got this repeat in a second. Um, if we do that four times, we should get our square. There we go. Our square is first written on the thing. Now, what I'm wanting to do is actually create a pattern with this. So what I'm going to do now, you can see the direction that the um, that the guy is, uh, the rocket is facing in. I'm just going to slip in between this repeat and that repeat. So not within our existing square one, but within the other repeat. I'm going to pop this one here in. Just close this one down. So the idea is uh, we're going to use a rotation to offset the next square. Um, a small movement. So just watch what happens as we go through. It'll do the same as what we've just got down there, but it's just going to turn the rocket just a fraction. So you can see he's just turning off the vertical eight, de eight degrees to the right. Okay. Now here's where the magic happens. Um, if I say repeat twice, he'll now draw two squares, the second square slightly offset by eight degrees. Let's just close that down. So we're going to whip through here, we're going to come over here and go through, down through this part of the algorithm of this bot. Away we go. So now you can see we've got two squares, the second square here just slightly offset from the first. The real magic happens when you work out how many times can I repeat this to go all the way around the square. Can you figure out a mathematical formula for that? What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a wee weight in the program just underneath here. Um, and we'll, we'll run it um, 10 times to start off with, and I'll put a 0.5 second delay in between so we can see what's going on, which we've already started. <laughs> All right, so let's press the uh, green flag. And so you can see it's drawing, offsetting each time a little bit of, on the screen. All right, so that's the pattern we've got. Can you figure out what is the magic number that we repeat to complete it all the way around. Is it 70? Uh, maybe have we go. I wanted to do it a lot quicker, so I'm going to put in 0.005 of a second, and we'll go through here, set the pen color. Oh, so we change this pen color to that purple. And what should it do in purple now? Here we go. So here we are repeating 70 times around. Okay, now you can see now we're actually drawing over the top of the first time. So obviously 70 is too many times. Can you figure out the maths for that? Give you a wee bit more time. So what I'm going to do now is just show you what I'll, how you can also change your pattern. So there's our existing pattern over on the left. Um, what happens if I just pop this in. Okay, so it draws a square, turns, waits for 0.005 of a second, and then just moves a little bit in direction. Watch how this changes. So we're going to go through this part of the algorithm, jump over to the square and go through here. Here we go. Press play. So you can see we're getting a slightly different pattern. Okay. So putting in a movement, so one of the things you can do is experiment with these things here. Okay. Now the the thing is to decide how many times we need to repeat it so we don't need to keep going over and over our own steps. So what we're going to do is use an operator for that to do some maths. And we're going to do a division. So we're just going to grab this little operator, which is the division sign, and we're going to pop him in here. So we know we've got 360 degrees in a circle. So any shape is based around... Um, 360 degrees and the angles in that shape and we know that we're moving in this case for um, 8 degrees each time offsetting 8 degrees so simply what I'm doing is um, to work out the number of times I have to repeat I'm saying 360 divided by 8 should give me the right number of repeats to do let's have a wee look on that now 
right? We're reiterating, which is um, continually trying to improve our program and think about what we're doing so that our algorithm is working better. Okay, so that's looking complete as a shape. Um, pretty awesome. Okay, why don't we just um, quickly try and define our pentagon now from scratch. What I'm going to do is copy, so two-finger click or control click on a uh, Windows machine. And I'm go uh, going to duplicate that part of the code and I'm just going to pop it underneath the pentagon definition. Now obviously there's some things need to change. A pentagon, you know, this was the part of the program that drew a square. So what is the part that's going to create a pentagon? Well, we know that a pentagon's got five sides in it. So we're going to be drawing five sides. This is the part of the program. Let's just pull that out for a fraction of a moment. We'll dump that back in here. So this is the part that's going to draw the pentagon. We, uh, we can make it the size of the pentagon longer or shorter by this number. And the question is, how many degrees um, do we turn each time to create our pentagon? Okay? So there's a bit of mass involved. Um, if it's a five-sided figure and we've got 360 degrees and we've got to turn five times within that, what we're doing is we can work out by saying 360 divided by five or we can actually get Scratch to do it for us. So what we'll do is we'll pop another one of those um, division operators in there and we're going to say 360 divided by five. All right, that should give us the correct one for this. So we're just making sure we're very careful about where we're putting this back in here. So um, here we go, turning eight degrees. Why don't we experiment with this? Um, turn 10 degrees and change that to 10 as well. Because every time I turn 10 degrees, it's going to affect the number of times I need to repeat it. Um, and we've got our definition for a pentagon here. So what we're going to do now is this is our beginning program up here. We're going to go back to more blocks. We're going to pull that square off there so it doesn't do the square anymore. Just drop it down here for the sake of having it down there. And um, we're going to grab our pentagon block and put it underneath. So what's it going to do? It's going to go in the green face, click, go to zero, zero, do these things. Well, let's change the color. We'll pick ooh, that red. Um, then it's going to go to Pentagon and run through that part of the program. Press screen flag. There we go. It's looking pretty sweet. Um, obviously, uh, we can change any one of these things if we wish to. So if I decide to make it slightly bigger shape, 50, um, I'm going to see what happens if I just offset by um, 3 degrees. So I'm going to change that to 3. And I'm going to only move, uh, oh, well, let's move a bigger number of steps, um, 10. And that's our existing shape. Away we go. So you can see, now, this will lead to another thing. As soon as the, the turtle hits the side of it, you can see it's not wanting to go and keep drawing. So now our shape gets quite, changed quite a bit <laughs> because he was hitting the side until he could do it. You can see where we're going to end up with this massive, massive circle. So which bit of my program would I change to try and actually make it so that I could draw this? All right, there's our pentagon. You can see it's been repeated. Um, which part of my program would I change to make sure this fitted all within that space? Maybe you have a wee play with some of those ideas. Um, so uh, what I'm just going to show you, just to, you know, once you've really got the idea of this, you can then string some things together. So here we are going to a certain place on the screen, setting our size here, doing the pentagon shape. Um, uh, so we could change that. We know the Pentagon one's not working too well just now. Um, I've created some extra ones down here for those, but I'm not going to show you those too quickly. You can stop the video and have a look, but maybe your challenge is try and recreate these yourself. Um, and so what's happening here is 
um, we are uh, clearing the graphics, setting the pen color to this, uh, drawing the triangle, then we're going to take our pen up, go to a different position on the screen, uh, set our pen color to the color blue, and then we're going to draw the hexagon. Okay, so when I ask for the hexagon, it's going to jump down here and actually perform this part down here. So let's press the green flag and see what we get. Uh, so we're drawing the triangle part, so we're stuck in this bit right now. And now we're drawing the hexagon part underneath. Okay, so pretty cool colors. Um, I've got them both overlapping. Um, you know, I might decide that I want to uh, not actually have them overlapping, but have them in a different place. And so I would change uh, the position of where I am on the x-axis. Okay, so say I wanted to draw it more over here. Um, you can see where my mouse is here, and over here is uh, the actual definition of, or the x and y position of the mouse. So when I'm over there, I can see it's minus 180.64. So why don't we just try something over there like that? Minus one minus 180 and minus 64. I'll make it 60 just to round it off. See if that gives us a better position on the screen to separate the two patterns. Here we go. Question is, is do I get round without hitting the side like we did earlier on? Just fits. Oh, right on the edge. Anyway, that's a good place to leave it. You have some fun experimenting with these shapes and um, drawing some really cool patterns, playing with the uh, how many degrees you turn, um, play with the number of steps you move to change the shape as well, and yeah, see what you can come up with.